All right, guys, so what we're going to cover next is the Barada Plata from the reverse Kimura position. So what the reverse Kimura position is, is I'm going to be controlling with a cross wrist, and I have the same side bicep control. So how I'm going to get this, right, I'm going to lift when I have my cross wrist, I'm going to pummel in, and I'm going to make my bicep control. Here what I'm doing is I'm pushing the wrist down towards my partner as well as in here. And then with my bicep control hand, I'm trying to bring my hand to my chest, putting a little bit of tension over the shoulder. So as my partner starts to move about here, I'm able to keep him in this position. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to then put my uh, leg over my partner's face, and then this back leg is gonna go over my partner's head. And as I do this, I'm gonna stuff my partner's hand intentionally in between my legs. Right here. Turn the angle, I stuff, throw that leg over his head. Now here what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grip my thigh onto the same side. My other hand, I'm gonna grip over the elbow here. And I'm, as I'm gripping, I'm trying to push his elbow further in between my legs here. I'm gonna put my foot onto the hip. And as I do this, I'm gonna keep that nice pinch. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring his elbow down to his ear, okay? A yeah, common mistake, guys, that people make here is when they try to bring the elbow to the ear, they end up turning down, putting their nose to the mat. If I do this against Dave, he's going to have a lot more plane here. It's not really moving his shoulder at all. Or it's not moving his elbow, rather. So when I'm in here, guys, I want to keep this grip tight. I'm going to do like a side punch here. I'm trying to bring my elbow down to my hip. 